On a positive sign, Rohingya families living in Bangladesh refugee camps are embracing family planning, an idea that might have seemed unthinkable just five years ago. It is becoming increasingly popular in the persecuted minority community. Roughly two-thirds of Rohingya couples are now using some form of birth control. So what is the reason behind this sudden change in practice? Our next report answers. Rohingya cleric Abdul Rashid still believes children are divine gifts. But life in a Bangladeshi refugee camp with six little mouths to feed has left him and his wife unwilling to accept another heavenly blessing. Earlier this year, his wife Nozmin asked doctors to fit her with a contraceptive implant, a decision that cultural norms among the persecuted and largely Muslim minority would have been unthinkable a few years ago. Rohingya people did not want to discuss control. We struggled a lot in the initial days. We worked in the field to spread the message through community leaders. Eventually, they understood the importance of birth control. Now they come here by themselves and expanded our service. Life for the Rohingya changed five years ago when scores of them had to flee a military crackdown in Myanmar. The hardships in the overcrowded refugee settlements in Bangladesh have prompted many of these families to limit the size of their households. Roughly two-thirds of Rohingya couples are now using some form of birth control, up from virtually none five years ago. I came here to ensure that I don't get pregnant anytime soon. It will ensure that my infant will receive enough nutrition and my attention. Family planning has a fraught history for the Rohingya Muslim. Earlier, many of them believed birth control was against the tenets of their faith. But that taboo has withered, with hundreds of religious leaders within the refugee community delivering summons in mosques in support of contraceptive use. Many have volunteered for a dedicated public health campaign which Bangladeshi authorities say has brought a sweeping change in attitudes. It's true that we can claim extraordinary success in our family planning program in the Rohingya camps. There was a time when they would get aggressive listening to this program, but now they are welcoming to the various methods. They understand that too many children can make their lives harder. Since 2017, Bangladesh has struggled to support its enormous refugee population, for whom the prospects of a return to Myanmar or resettlement elsewhere are remote. But family planning has brought immense relief. In the first six months of 2022, there were around 190,000 visits to these family planning clinics from among the million Rohingya refugees living in the Bangladesh camps. This included many women seeking abortions. According to our latest data of June 2022, we registered some 1,08,754 eligible couples so far. Over 70,600 couples have already chosen the program. Therefore, the success rate is 64.95%. The story of Rohingya refugees embracing family planning, defying decades of social taboos, is an example of evolving societal norms in keeping with the changing times that can only be beneficial to all stakeholders.